she's been down that road once before. It came out of it clean as a whistle. And chose for herself this reality instead. You're about to ask why she isn't currently safe. Yes, 
start to be complicated.
into the estate, goes to probate. No, you yes, are I, such a fucking cynic. I knew you would this. Okay, fine. So what about the safety no, deposit? I have to wait till Monday morning for the <coughs> bank to open it. After I empty that safety deposit box, I call the police and report it missing. <laughs> Monday morning. And you're just now calling me today on Thursday. I didn't call you. You had Ivy call me five days later. Jesus, last month. Are you sure there wasn't some event that triggered his leaving? Yeah, <coughs> incident. Oh, you mean like a fight? Yeah. No. And we fought enough. You know. But no, he didn't laugh. Maybe he just needed some time away from you. Yeah. There's nothing to you to say. Hey, <laughs> it's no crime. Being married's hard. We're the best of certain But things. nothing. See you later, or I'm taking a walk, or <coughs> good old unfathomable dad. Oh, that man. <clears throat> what I first fell up with, it, fell in love with, you know, was his mystery. I thought it was sexy as hell. You knew he was the smartest one in the room. You need to say something, not yet. But he just stand there, a little smile on his face, and not say a word. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Can't think anything different or unusual or... Well, he had this woman, he didn't ask me, he just hired this woman to come here and live in our house a few days before he left. You don't want her here. But I don't know what she's doing here. She's a stranger in my house. There's an Indian in my house. <laughs> you got some problems with Indians, my lady. I don't know what to say to an Indian. They're called Native Americans now, Mom. Who calls them that? Who made that decision? It's what they like to be called. They aren't any more Native than me. In fact, they are. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it? Why is it so hard to just call people what they are? Let's just call the dinosaurs Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, horseshit. 
this with you again. Go do what? These fucking pills. They're not already. I don't want to do this again. I don't know what you're talking about. The psych ward calls at 3 a.m. about people in your backyard, the police, and all the rest of it. You do know what I'm talking about. You spent a goddamn fortune on these fucking pills, Stop and they the spent another fortune getting off them. It's not the same thing. I didn't have a reason. Oh, so now it's okay to get hooked because you have a reason. I'm not hooked on I don't know if you are or not. I'm, I'm just not. saying I won't go through I'm this. in pain. Because of your mouth. Yes, because my mouth burns from the chemo. Are you in a lot of pain? Yes, I'm in pain. I have got gotten cancer in my mouth, and it burns like a bull lip. And Beverly did a bear, and you're yelling at me. Oh, no, you no, no, no.
time, but I'm not going to be held hostage in this room. Oh, so that you're I'm gonna sorry. Me. I didn't mean to hold you hostage. You really should go then. I'm not going anywhere. Pluto, Oklahoma, to be with you, and now you're stuck with me, and her name is Cindy. I know her stupid name. At least do me the courtesy of recognizing when I'm demeaning you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Violet really has a way of putting you in a tech She doesn't have anything to do with it. Don't you believe you can feel such rage for her, you can't help it. I swear to God, you psychoanalyze me now and I skip you. may not agree with my methods, you know I'm right. Your methods? Well, thank you, doctor, but I actually don't need any help from my mother to feel rage. You want to argue with oh what you need to do? Well, pick a subject, all right? Let me the know what it is. is. So I am the subject, you narcissistic motherfucker! I'm in pain. I need help. I talk to being a narcissist. We are the products of a narcissistic You can't character. do it, can you? You can't talk about You call me a narcissist. Seconds. I try to talk about you. You accuse me of psychological. You do understand that it hurts to go from sharing a bed with you for 23 years to sleeping by myself. I'm here now. Oh, men yeah. always say shit like that. As if the past and the future don't exist. We're not making this a gender Do men discussion. really believe that here and now is enough? It's just horseshit to avoid talking about the things they're afraid to say. I'm not necessarily keen on the notion of saying things that were not true. Like what? Don't talk about me. Say it! You must realize there's nothing you can say that can hurt me any more than I'm already hurting. The damage is done. I think you're wrong. I think you're getting this masochistic frame of mind that actually desires to be hurt more. What? Barbara, please. We have enough on our hands with your parents right now. Let's not revisit all this. Revisit? When did we visit it to begin with? <laughs> you pulled the rug out from under me. I still don't know what happened. Did you want to bore you? Intimidate you? Disgust you? Is this just about the pleasures of young flesh? Teenage pussy? I really need to know. You need to know now. <laughs> you want to have this discussion with Beverly not seeing your mother as crazy as a loon and our daughter 20 feet away. You, you, you really want to discuss this now? No, you're right. I'll just hunker down for a cozy night's sleep next to my husband. This discussion deserves our care, our patience.
We're pretty sure it's Mr. West. Okay. All right. Uh, what happens? What do we do now? I need a relative to come with me to positively identify the body. To your station house. No, sir, it's still delayed. Oh, God, I don't think I can do this. I'm sorry. Can I go? Can I do it? I need a blood relative. If Barbara's the one to identify him, I suggest you come along. No, I can't do it. <laughs> what choice do we have? I can do it. I'm a blood relative. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll do it. I will. Yeah. Give us a minute. We'll get ready. Yes, sir. Barbara? I'm very sorry. This is the hardest part of my job, and I'm to do it for someone you know. I'm just very sorry. What, what should we do about your mother? There's really no way to tell. What do you think happened there? What's your guess? Suicide. I would guess suicide. But the official cause of death is drowning, and that's the extent of it. All right. Yeah. I should warn you, that body's been in the water for all of three days. Okay. I think you should try to prepare your wife if you can. Prepare her? What happens to a body? It's very bloated. It's an ugly color. Fish have eaten the eyes. <laughs> I'll be the first to jump in the water and choose not to swim. I don't think you do unless you really mean business. <coughs> choose not. Never get out of bed. 